TV. Man, oh. motherfucking brother, my nigga Jones Black. What's good, baby? What's good? What's good? What's going on? We go on our TV. Y'all niggas now tuned in. You know what I mean? You effing with your boy Jones Black. You know what I'm talking about? AKA Blizzle. You hear me? That's what it is, man. How you, man? Same, man. You know, keep it sucker free. You know what I mean? Staying away from these haters. Pushing my new single, the motherfucking paper. The paper produced by my dude June out of Maryland. Shit rocking. DJ Pro Style spinning on Pop 105. Okay, DJ okay. Self playing it. You know what I'm saying? DJ Smooth, Booth, Javon, Pi 105, they just showing me hella love. Internet stations is fucking with me. Midwest, I'm about to take that over real quick. You know what I mean? What's up? That's what it is, man. Yo, how you feel about the industry? Ah, uh, man, I love the industry. You know what I'm saying? It's <laughs> all so love. I don't got no bad blood. I don't got no bad image. I don't got no bad, you know what I mean? No, no hatred, no nothing, man. You know, shout out to the whole industry, man. We're going to keep it real positive on these dudes. You know That's what I mean? That's what it is, man. Yeah. As far as industry wise, man, who you like to work with? Uh, who I like to work with? Yeah, Falls Industry Rocks. Creatively? Uh, damn. I like Puff. Puff got a, he creative. Um, ambitiously wise, 50 J. You know, I Falls, like, you know, really sitting down and, uh, you know, getting some jewels and, and, and you know, letting them, you know, give me a real understanding of the, of the game and how to monopolize it okay. and how to take it to the next level as, you know, as a businessman and as a company. Mm -hmm. It be them too. But artistically, you know what I'm saying, it's whoever, you know what I'm saying, it's like whoever, like it's, it's music, you feel me? So music, I work with everybody, anybody, as long as it's something down my lane or at that time and at, at that moment in my life, you know what I mean? I feel you. Word. Yo, what makes you different from, from every other artist? Ah, uh, man, it's, it's, it's kind of hard to be different, like, you know, we all from the slums, man. I don't, I don't care if you from the Northeast or you from the uh, Southeast or you from the Midwest or you from the West, you know what I mean? You from Brooklyn or you from Compton, you from Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you from Houston. We all in the slums, so we ain't really saying nothing different. You know what I'm saying? But Falls, you know what I mean? Me um, crafting my craft, you know what I'm saying? My delivery is tighter. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? My flow is tighter. Listen to my wordplay. You understand what I'm saying? Like, to me, I feel like the game didn't want Topsy Turby with this whole punchline shit. You feel okay. me? Like, every artist nowadays is punchlines, punchlines, punchlines. But they not really saying nothing, so they don't really got no story. So if you built off of punchlines, then you're just being slick with your wordplay, but you're not really telling the story. Right. So if you can't really tell a story, how are you going to be able to mold the people? You feel me? Like, yeah. Biggie told a story, Pop told a story, Hove told a story. You understand? Like, I can name artists that told stories that made sense, that you can fuck with. You be like, yo, you know what? Nas told a story. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, you know, that person guides you through music and guides you through, they guide you through something through their music. You feel me? So yeah. just me, you know what I'm saying? Just me being an artist, I tell stories. You know what I'm saying? Like, not far as being a storyteller, but I can help you go through, I can help you overcome something because of my mindset on how I, how I kick it because I'm not just based off punchlines. I'm not just based off metaphors. I'm based off, like, real life. Plus, my interviews is hotter. You feel me? That's what makes me different. Yeah, yeah. Holla. No doubt. Yo, the, um, I mean, you probably heard this question. The Javelin Times, man. With the name Jones Black, how the name come about? Oh, uh, man, um, my name, man, like, Jones, man. Show for Jeremy, man, you know. That's my name, you know, Jeremy, you know, like, you know, that's the name that's on my label, that's on my company. That's the name that they write checks to, you know what I'm saying? So okay. that's my name, it's short for my name, you know what I mean? For Jeremy, it's germs. And the black, that shit just stimulate from pretty black, you know what I mean? Being a flashy dude and all that, the jewels, cars, just being like, you know, flamboyant growing up and doing my one-two dizzle. I ain't on no flamboyant now right now, because I'm just, I'm business orientated, so I ain't about, you know what I mean, like, really mash, you know, like, I feel like hip hop now done came to an era where niggas be faking it and niggas be on they jeweled up and niggas be trying to be flashy and all that. But they ain't really spitting nothing. So they kind of, you know, you know, get the attention of the people with their cars, you know, their fashion, or even with their gimmicks, you know what I mean? The drama and all that other shit. But then when it's time for the music, the music don't say nothing. So, you know, they buzz flop. Cause there's another nigga out here with some fake jewels on. There's another nigga out here with a rental car. And there's another nigga with a gimmick. You know what I'm saying? Falls, you know what I'm saying? It being to a point where People make people pay your attention because you know people people would um would identify with negativity quicker than they identify with positivity. You feel me? So you know what I'm saying. So that's where my name comes from, though. Just me being who I am, coming from my name, Germs, Jeremy being Germs and Black and Pretty Black. You hear me? Well, who you with? I'm saying Best Style Brooklyn, man. You know, definitely Brooklyn, Best Style. You know, I'm talking about True Tompkins, Pulaski, Will It Be Vernon. You know what I mean? Decap, Casiasco, like the whole style, period. You feel me? 
It's up and down tripping zombies, you hear me? Yeah. Yo, for the people that don't know Jones back, man, let me know what your resume is about. Uh man, you know, I didn't I didn't, you know, put out 13 mixtapes. You know what I mean? I done uh, did about like five, six DVDs. I done worked with various artists, you know what I mean, from no name to a name to platinum to go artists, producers from go producers to platinum producers to no name producers. You know what I mean? Um I ain't about to mention no dude's name, but you know, shout out to anybody that I mess with, you know what I mean? You know who you are. If you wanna know who I mess with, then you'll Google my name, you know what I mean? Jerns Black with a J, and then you'll follow and see what's going on, who I fuck with. But right now, I man, it's all about my shit, my single to call it paper, you know what I'm talking about? I'll let you boy, man. Yeah. Oh, that's what it is, man. Now, how you define yourself being successful? How you, what you mean, how I define myself being successful? Like, in what manner? Like, for as far as the future goes. Oh man, like you know, I'm saying, like I really can't, I really can't define that because you know God got some purpose and God got a plan. So you know, I might want this and he may not want that. I might say, yo, just give me two mil, I'd be happy. And he might give me a hundred mil. You feel mm -hmm. me? Okay. Uh, you know what I mean? Far as me defining myself and do what I gotta do, I'ma definitely do what I gotta do. You know what I mean? I'ma yeah, definitely put my company in motion and keep it 90% business and 10% music. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Far as me being an artist, you know what I mean? Being an MC, I love music, so I always keep that passion with the music. But I know the industry itself is just basically business. So with these vultures, I'ma do what I gotta do businessly. Okay. You know what I mean? To put myself in a position where I'm able to show my music. You know what I mean? Word. Yes, you know what I mean, yo? How you feel about New York rappers rapping on down south beats? Ah, uh, man, you know, shout out to all the New York rappers that's rapping on down south beats. You know what I'm saying? We don't want no negative. You know what I'm talking about? Like, you know, I can get here, like, real time, I can get here on, on We Go Hard TV and I can clown. I mean, I can clown and I can pinpoint so much shit. You could be like, damn, germs. Like, you know what I mean? You're a real right dude. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's, it's like, all right, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to give y'all doses, man. New York MCs, period, my mindset, how I believe. I feel like every New York artist damn near is on, they feel like they on some gangster shit, right? So now, the music itself is, is, is whack because everybody feel like they're a gangster. Everybody shooting, killing, robbing, stabbing, whatever. You know what I mean? Then you place that on a down south beat where, where these artists from down south really don't fuck with up north rappers. You know what I'm saying? I hear people say if you go, if an up north rapper was supposed to go to a down south region, they will put you on quicker. Name any down south artist that put on an up north artist. Name them. You can't name no southern rapper that put on a, that they might have fucked with an up north rapper, they might have fucked with a New York rapper, but haven't put them on or signed them at their label and pushed them out. I really can't say it, I really can't name it, where that New York artist became super duper famous. So, and, and I feel like New York itself kind of lost it's, it's own structure, it's own guidance, it's own mind. You know what I'm saying? New York itself, the Northeast region, has no voice, it has no character. You know what I'm talking about? Where you got individuals like, you know, shout out to Drake for being being successful from dude from way, not even a region, he's from another, con you know, a continent. You know what I mean? Came, coming over and monopolizing the game. And you know what I'm saying? You got dudes like Hov got to, you know, kind of pass the torch to a Southern rapper. And not the shit on a Southern rapper or nothing like that, but. We New York niggas, like, we don't fuck with pills, like, we don't do syrup, we don't do lean, we don't fuck with that coke, even though niggas do it, but this is something what these southern rappers do, this is what they enjoy, mm -hmm. and this is the music that they pushing out there for these people to listen to, when it's really not what, you know what I mean, up north niggas really fuck with, so, instead of New York artists being they self, and identifying with they self, mm -hmm. and spitting and being they self, and pushing they self out there, so they able to win, they not doing that, they trying to find the quickest way to get on, but you can't get on like that. You know what I mean? And this game is all about, it's all about the strong. You know what I mean? Strong being mentally strong and the ones understanding that and seeing it falls business wise and taking it and capitalize off of it and win it. You know what I'm saying? So I hope that answers your question about New York MCs, you know what I mean, being on Southern Beach. You hear me? Definitely, man. Definitely. Yeah. Yo, um, how you feel about um the New York radio playing more down south music than New York music? I'm saying like I'm saying name some New York music that's hot. Like, I, I, so I can't not knock, I can't knock, you know what I'm saying, I can't knock the music coordinators. I cannot knock, you know what I mean, the program directors. I cannot knock, you know what I mean, 
the uh, 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 program directors and the music directors and the music coordinators for all the mix shit. The matter of fact, the, uh, the mix shows are coordinators that have these lists to play these southern artists that's popping because they're making music that people are feeling. Even though music is nowadays are kind of based on a on a dance tempo, but they're making music that people can relate to. You know what I mean? Like New York artists is not making music that people can relate to. You know what I mean? They, they, they making music set on one tone. They making, especially New York artists itself, you know what I mean? Not even say New York artists, but just Northeast artists. They making music built on shooting, killing, and stabbing, and robbing. Like, son, everybody do not shoot, kill, stab, and rob. Like, if you, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, everybody do not do that. People do not do that. There's people who do other shit besides shoot, still kill, kill, kill and rob. There's other people who, who not, who not built on this gang shit. So they not even, they, you know what I'm saying? They're not even worrying about this. They don't want to hear music that they can dance to, they can relate to, that can help them get through some problems. So, you know what I mean? I, I, you know, I understand, you know what I mean, what these artists are going through because I'm an independent artist myself. You feel me? So I understand what they're going through. But I understand what, you know what I mean, these people that have the ear to play the music and what they're in charge of, what they're looking for. You know what I mean, to keep it 110 with you, I never pressed the DJ to play my music on like Power 105, Hot 97, right? I never did that in the seven years of my career, right? I always grab my music out the trunk. I bought this right here. I bought this charger, you know what I'm talking about, heavy big body, straight off the grind, straight off the grind. 18.5, I bought this in 08. And before that, I had bought the 06 charger in 06. I bought the 07 caliber in 07. I bought the, I mean, the motherfucking Tahoe Yukon. Back then in 05, like I've been trapping out the trunk. So I've been getting money. So my mindset never been to get my shit on the radio. It's push my street mixtapes, get the people to fuck with me, and build a buzz like that. So now I finally did a record. I finally did a record. I was like, you know what? I was locked up out of town. I, was, I got caught up in Maryland. You know what I'm talking about? Getting money out there. I got caught up in Maryland because I got so sick inside of hip hop. I started fucking with the streets again. I got caught up in Maryland. I did a little time. I came home. I said, you know what? I'm going to make a record where it's able to cross over into the clubs and also cross over into the radio where it's going to take me from, my, from where I was at to another platform, right? I did the record. I got it produced by June. He gave me the record. I sat with the beat for like two weeks. We did the record. So as soon as my shit came back mastered, right? The first week it was mastered. I came back. I seen, I seen DJ Self. This is no lie. Drop dead. God strike me down. I seen DJ Self. I said, yo, here, here the record. He's like, yo, uh, give me the record. I said, nah, I'm not going to give you the record. I've been grinding too long. I know these games. I'm not going to give you the record. You're going to hear this record right now, and then you're going to tell me what you think. He's like, all right, come on, where you at? He went to my car. I put the record on. He heard the first verse. He said, you know what? I'm going to play this tomorrow. I caught him after his show. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow, I'm saying my son played that shit five times, brought it back, said my name. Woo. Same, I mean, that's the next day, the next day I seen DJ Pro Style, shout out to DJ Pro Style, you know, some rock boys, all pro heavy hitters. He heard the record, right? The nigga, the nigga DJ Pro Style heard the record. He was like, yo, I gotta go, I'm like, yo, I gotta go. He did, you know, the shenanigans and all that, like, I got him to the car, he heard the record. He said, oh, this shit is wavy. I'm gonna play it. You know what I mean? Javon heard it. Like, any DJ, that's really like falls like being on the radio that I presented the record to, heard it, played it. So it's letting me know it's 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 it's, it's not that it's the music, it's the artist that's creating the music. You understand what I'm saying? So you know these 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 DJs or these you know these mixtape DJs and stuff like that that's on the radio that's making that has the control to play and has freedom to play certain artists record without the record being within you know what I mean without it being in um. Without it being in the program director or the music director lineup, they're able to play your record if they like the record. Shout out to DJ Will from Pod 105 again. Another DJ heard the record, love it, played the record. You feel what I'm saying? So, so what I'm saying is DJs is gonna play the record if it's a hot record. Now you have to take it to another level now because you're a business person. So now you have to take your record and do what you do. But see, now we dealing with the New York, we dealing with the Northeast region, and dealing with the market, and we dealing with the whole mindset of crabs in the barrel. So now you have to go through that process. You feel what I'm saying? But there's a lot more to it than that but you know what I mean these DJs will play your record if your record is hot make a hot record like straight up make a hot record where it can play in the radio and play in the club that the majority eight out of ten people is gonna feel then you cannot be denied because you know what I mean shout out to my nigga Webb you know he'll be managing fat he was like yo Jerry we had a we had a conversation for like 45 minutes he was like yo son you don't have to sell yourself let the music talk for you and the game then got so fucked up that niggas be selling they self like, yo, son, do this, da, 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 da. they sell themselves, you know, with the jewels, the cars, the violence, all that other shit, and the music not even talking. The music not even talking for them. Shit be straight whack. You feel me? 
Buzz get high, buzz fade. You feel me? What? So what kind of music does Jerome Black make? 